Hi guys and welcome back to Tech Anorak. So I've got some more Moto phones um, to review for you guys and uh, I'm doing a double unboxing of thought because these two particular handsets are very similar to each other. So we'll start with the Moto G10. So as with most Motorola's they come with their own little silicone clear case and um, it's got a nice texture to it. Looks like um, when you're on the beach and the sea's gone out and you've got that like ripply bit that hurts your feet. But yeah, nice texture. Get this powered up. Okay, guys. And what else have we got in the box here? So, usual books and stuff. Sim release tool. Slide out charger. What have we got here? It is a 10 watt charger and micro USB. Okay, so we'll go over the build as well. So we've got um, Amazon Assistant, Amazon Assistant, Google Assistant button, uh, volume rocker, um, power button, and lock button. Um, we've got some release tool there. Microphone, USB-C, downward firing speaker. It's not um, dual speakers, not stereo speakers. And on the top, we've got the headphone jack for the lovers of wired headphones. And this is a 48 megapixel main camera. And we'll go over the other specs as well, but yeah, it's a nice design. Okay, and then the G30. You might get a feeling deja vu in a moment, guys. They're quite similar. Um, but different as well. So again, you get your um, clear silicone case, and um, this is more of a brushed, smooth, um, both plastic, obviously, but that's quite a nice colour as well. It's got a bit of a flip to it. Reminds me a bit of a um, TVR, if you've ever seen those. Okay. Uh, again, Google Assistant button, volume rocker, Power button and lock button. We'll do this together. So again, downward firing speaker, USB-C, microphone, SIM tray, uh, headphone jack. All looks like another mic there, actually, uh, which the uh, G10's not got. And then, there you go, guys. So. Okay, so inside the Moto G30 box, guys the unboxing of this as well so again usual books sim release tool we know it's usb-c we've just checked and um, what wattage is this it is a getting old guys can't see it 20 watt charger so it's going to charge that bit faster okay so the similarities continue so they were both released in february 2021 they're both um 200 grams and they both have a 6.5 inch 720p display with a pixel density of 269 ppi they both are running android 11 both have a water repellent design so i believe the internals on the soc board um they sprayed with like water repellent um liquid so if if any water did get in there's a good chance the phones are going to survive and um, let's look at the camera tech on the back so for the g30 we've got a 64 megapixel main lens an 8 megapixel ultra wide a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor it can do 1080p 30 frames and 60 frames per second on the back of the g10 you've got a 48 megapixel wide angle camera an 8 megapixel ultra wide two megapixel macro and a two megapixel depth sensor and again that can do 1080p 30 and 60 um, front facing cameras both can do 1080p at 30 frames per second and the stats i've got online i don't trust them because they differ so i've brought up um cpu z which you might have seen on the channel before guys and um as you can see here they're both running a 665 snapdragon 665 
Um, this one looks like it's not clocked as high as this. As this is overclocked, I presume, to um, 2.2 gig, or has it got more cores? Both 11 nanometer. I'm presuming this one's overclocked somehow, you know, at factory. And they've both got the same GPU and Adreno 610. Okay, so this confirms both a 720p panel, both 6.52 inches. Like I said, 269 PPI or DPI, it says here. The G10 has got um, 4 gig of RAM and that's 64 gig of internal storage, but it's showing the, the used amount. Um, this has got 4 gig of RAM as well, the G30, with 128 gig of storage. Okay, both running Android 11. Okay, so both are 5,000 milliamp hour battery guys. And um, the, as we said, so 10 watt charging for the G10 and 20 watt fast charging for the G30. The endurance rating is 152 hours of, of battery rating for the G10. So I think that's down to probably that CPU being not clocked as, as high as the other one. And the G30 is 131 hours endurance rating. Okay, so I'm going to be testing these out over the next week. And um, I presume they're going to be similar performance, as I said, because they've got a lot of the same internals. Would have thought the G30 is going to have the better charging speeds and the better camera. Um, but the G10, it might have the better battery performance. So we'll, we'll test that out, guys. And um, yeah, both nice designs, you know, built to a budget because of budget phones. Um, just to go over price, in fact, the G10 is currently $122.99 in the UK and $149.99 for the G30. So both, you know, um, good value phones. So let me know what you think in the comments as always, guys. Um, um, as I say, I'm going to give these a good test and... A full review as always for you. So thanks for watching Tech Anorak. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys.